it is so wonderful to be here. And I have my friend, David. Hey, Miss Redbird. It's so nice to be in the house with you today. It is so nice to be here, totally. I am totally celebrating because we are, I'm a queen and it looks like you're a king. I'm a king, Miss Redbird. Yes, because we're celebrating this wonderful time of the year. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. We're celebrating the king of kings and the Lord of lords. Yes, and that is Jesus. Everybody say Jesus. Jesus. All right, boys and girls, before we get started, let's pray. Let's look up. Look down. Dear God, thank you so much for thank sending you. your son, Jesus Christ, to be here for us. Thank you, God, that he came and he died on the cross thank just you. for me and David and all the boys and girls, for everyone. And the best thing, God, he came back. He came back for us. Thank you. And we are so thankful. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Well, David, we're getting ready to watch this wonderful video about an important person named Jesus. So kids, pay close attention. You're going to learn something, okay? We'll see you in just a minute. Callie, are you ready to wind that video? You know what, Callie? I kind of got your dance. Callie, take it away! Welcome to this week's episode of So You Want to Be a Superhero. Our contestant today is Callie, and she will be attempting to prove that she is a superhero by moving this giant rock. Give it up for Callie! Hey friends! I am so excited! Springtime is here, and my parents decided to give me my very own section of the flower bed for my own garden. I get to put seeds in it, take care of it, it is completely mine! The first thing I have to do is move this big rock out of the way. Here I go! She steps up to the rock she pushes. She pulls, she tugs, she stomps! The rock won't budge. It looks like we won't have a winner today. On, so you want to be a superhero. Wow, that rock sure is heavy. How am I going to take care of my garden if I can't get this rock out of here? While I think about it, let's check out today's Bible story. It's time for today's Bible story. It comes from the book of Luke, chapter 19. Jesus was about to go into a city called Jerusalem. This was a very important place. Before he went there, he told two of his friends to go get him a donkey to ride into the city on. As he was riding into the city, people began to cheer and sing. They called Jesus the king. Some who were there thought that Jesus should tell those cheering and singing to quiet down. They were afraid of the people who were in power. They thought they might be mad that Jesus was being called king. But Jesus said to those people that if people stopped singing and cheering for him, then the rocks would start to cheer and sing and say Jesus was king. What? That doesn't make sense. Rocks can't talk, let alone sing. Jesus was saying that his power was greater than any other powerful person. Those powerful people may be the king of some things, but did you know that Jesus is the king of everything? He is, and not just humans. Jesus rules over everyone and everything. That's why he said that even if people stop calling him king, then nature and everything else in the world would continue to show that it is true. Jesus is the king of everything. Oh. 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 It, oh. It's praise and worship time. Oh, yes, yeah, time right now. 
Holy children of the Lord. The Lord told Noah to build him an arky arky. Lord told Noah to build him an arky arky. Built it out of hickory barky barky. Children of the Lord. The animals, the friends i moved the rock okay i got my mom to help she's really strong as i listen to our bible story i realize something i keep on calling this my garden when it isn't i mean i get to take care of it but jesus is the king of everything so this is his garden not mine i'm sure jesus could have easily moved that rock but you know what else Jesus could have made the rock sing praises to him. I wonder what song a rock would sing if a rock could sing. I'm going to start planting seeds in my, um, oops, I mean Jesus' garden. But I wanted to say a prayer first. Will you pray with me? Jesus, thank you for the chance to take care of this garden. It is yours. You are the king over everything. So help me to take care of it and help it to grow. Amen. So friends, did you know Jesus is king over everything? Of course you did. But sometimes we forget and we try to be king. King of the playground, king of the living room, king of the cookie jar. I was trying to be the king of my garden, but everything in this world belongs to Jesus. When we remember that, it's easy to sing songs and say thank you to Jesus, because that means Jesus is watching over us. Thanks for learning and growing with me, friends. Bye! So, I know all the books of the Bible. What? You know all the books of the Bible? I know all of them. How do you know all the books of the Bible? Because I say them all the time. I say them all the time. Oh, I wish I knew all the books of the Bible. You know what? We will all know our books of the Bible if we say them every day. Are you serious? Yes. I say them at breakfast, I say them at lunch, and I say them after dinner. <laughs> how do you say them while you're how do you say them while you're eating lunch? <laughs> after lunch, silly! Oh, well, let's try them. I'm going to teach you the books that you don't know, okay? Okay. Here we go, repeat after me. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus. Genesis, Leviticus. No, 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 no. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus. Genesis, Exodus. Leviticus. Numbers, Deuteronomy, and Joshua. Numbers, Deuteronomy, and Joshua. Judges, 
Judges. 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 Oh, you all did great. Now we know those. Let's say them together. Are you ready? Yay! Yes. Here Yay! we go. It's so exciting. Oh. So take Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus. Numbers, Deuteronomy, and Joshua. Numbers, Deuteronomy, and Joshua. Judges, Ruth, 1st and 2nd Samuel. Judges, Ruth, 1st and 2nd Samuel. 1st Kings, 2nd Kings, 1st and 2nd Chronicles. 1st Kings, 2nd Kings, 1st and 2nd Chronicles. It's memory verse time. Are you yeah. ready for the memory verse? Yeah, I'm ready. Queen oh. Redbird. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we find our memory verse in 2 Peter 3.18. Can you say 2 Peter 3.18? 2 Peter 3 and 18. Very good. 2 Peter 3.18. But grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I'll repeat it one more time for you. Here we go. But grow in the grace. But grow in the grace. And the knowledge. And the knowledge. Of our Lord and Savior. Of our Lord and Savior. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. I guess that's right. Okay, boys and girls, one more time for you. Here we go. 2 Peter 3, 18. But grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Can you do it, David? But grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Yay! Boys and girls, make sure you practice all week. Second Peter 3, 18. Goodbye, boys and girls. We'll see you in just a minute. All right, David, did you enjoy watching the people celebrate Jesus as he came in to I, Jerusalem? I did, Queen uh, Redbird. I like it when you call me queen, but you can just call me Miss Redbird. Okay? No, but you're a queen, Miss Redbird. Queen of Jesus, you're right. So Jesus rode in on the donkey and everyone was waving the palm branches and they were celebrating him as the king. They were Did excited yes, that the king of were. kings and the Lord of lords entered into their city. Right. And they had to know something. Did you know that Jesus is the king of all kings? Yeah, I sure did, Miss Redbird. And he is our king of kings. Yes, he is. But I want to know if, you're, if you all were watching carefully. Let's see if David was watching. David. Would what you? did the disciple? What two disciples did Jesus send? Well, where did Jesus send the disciples when they first came into the city? Where did he send them well, to do what? Well, I don't know if Jesus did just didn't want to walk, but he sent them to go get a donkey that was tied up. He told them. He said, "There's gonna be a donkey out there that's tied up." I want you to untie them and bring them to me. And they did just that. But the disciples asked the gentleman that they got the donkey from, said, why do you need my donkey? But Jesus already took care of that because he gave them specific instructions that if somebody asked them why they needed that donkey, they were to tell them that the king of kings had need of it. You're absolutely right. And Jesus got the donkey and he rode into the city of Jerusalem and everybody was shouting, Hosanna! 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 You know king what that- King of kings! And 
they were celebrating Jesus as he rode into the city because Jesus is our King of Kings and we celebrate him. Yay! Yay! Boys yeah. and girls, you can celebrate Jesus each and every day of your life too. Just praise his name with praise and worship songs. Praise you, Or just you, say Lord. hallelujah or hosanna. Hallelujah. We've had so much fun today. David, did you have fun? I always have fun with you, Queen Redbird. All righty. Well, why don't you pray us out? Okay, boys and girls, look up, look down. Thank you, Lord God, for this wonderful and awesome testimony, for the video, for the lesson. Thank you, Lord God, for your son, Jesus, my King of kings and Lord of lords. Thank you, Lord God, for great provision and good health that he has made available to me through his shed blood. We give you glory, honor, and praise, and we thank you for it. In Jesus' name, and all in agreement of that prayer, boys and girls, said, Amen. Amen. Praise Jesus. We look forward to seeing you all next week. Enjoy this week. Bye-bye. Goodbye, boys and girls. Goodbye.